listening to WHYY in Philadelphia. I'm Avi Wolfman Arendt. Last month, at an art auction here in Philadelphia, there was this lovely little oil painting of a country scene outside Paris. Think Impressionist style, blooming trees on a misty morning, that kind of thing. It was appraised between $3,000 and $5,000, and instead, it went for over fifteen grand. And perhaps that's because there's more than meets the eye with this painting. The auction house called it Spring in the Valley. By a relatively unknown artist today, uh, who at the time, though, was at the precipice of perhaps a really big career. What was his name? Manuel Azadigian. That's the voice of a local historian named Paul Sukiyasian. Paul is of Armenian descent, and he's kind of taken it upon himself to become the semi-official historian of the Armenian diaspora here in Philadelphia. And while he was doing that work, about a decade ago, he came across the incredible story of the artist who painted that little oil painting, Manuel Azadigian. He was a young immigrant. He came to Philadelphia from the town of Malatya, which is now in Turkey. It was the Ottoman Empire then. Uh, his family were ethnic Armenians escaping persecution there. Uh, Manuel attended the local public schools, but had to drop out around age 15 because his parents just, you know, they needed the help. So he got a job in an, a factory. But Manuel Azadigian's passion was art, and he had real talent. He ended up, against all odds, earning a scholarship to attend the prestigious Pennsylvania Academy of Fine Arts. And he would work in the factory by day and go to school at night. He got the backing of a local businessman to study in Paris. And imagine, this is Paris in the jazz age. Hemingway, Picasso, all of those folks. And among this incredible ferment, there is a 20-year-old kid from North Philly, Manuel Azadigian. Anyway, he came home from Paris in 1923 and eventually moved to New York to open a studio. And then spring of 1924, tell me about what happens to him that year. So he meets a Broadway star named Hazel Dawn, and he apparently approached her and said, sounds like a typical kind of pickup line, but he really was genuine about it that, can I paint your beautiful soul? And that line worked. Hazel Dawn invited the 22-year-old out to her Long Island estate for the whole summer to paint her portrait. It was Azadigian's big break, a chance to make inroads among the rich and the famous. But while he was out there, he started to feel strange pains. And then one day... He collapses. This might be a little bit for the dramatics, but they said as he was making the last touches to her sea blue eyes, he just collapsed. Uh, she, what was wrong with him? So she rushed him to Manhattan where her brother-in-law happened to be a very famous surgeon. They opened him up and he was found to be riddled with cancer inside. Within weeks, Manuel Azadigian was dead, but there was more tragedy to come. He had 35 paintings at his studio in New York, and they were all supposed to be shipped back to his family in Philadelphia. Uh, his roommate packed up uh, all the paintings into boxes and had them shipped to a local rug dealer that was known in the Armenian community. And that's the last that anyone knows of it. It completely disappeared. The package got lost. That's what it said. That's the story that came down to us. Was there something more nefarious at play? A heist, perhaps? To this day, no one knows. Paul Sukiyasian started digging into this story around 2010. At the time, there were no complete works by Manuel Azadigian. We knew that he existed, but his catalog was a vacuum. Uh, so I put what information we had online and started telling people just about this story. This is a story that needs to be told. And my dream was to recapture these paintings, to, to find them. Some of them must still exist somewhere. But for a while, Paul's efforts went nowhere. So 10 years go by and somebody, an art dealer in Manhattan, is at a estate sale and she comes across this painting and she looks at the name and 
just kind of gets a gets an idea and looks him up and she finds my stories about him. And that is how the painting Spring in the Valley ended up at an auction in Philadelphia last month. Now, everywhere you turn in this story, there is more mystery, more layers. How did this painting turn up? Are there more like it? All of those questions are unanswered. But right now, at the very least, we have a living link to this artistic life cut short. I, I feel uh, that, that kind of connection with him and his life and, and his striving. Like The people that wrote about him all wrote about him in the most affectionate ways. And for this person to die so cruelly at just age 22 just didn't seem fair for him to be completely forgotten. And now, thanks partly to Paul's efforts, he won't be. I'm Avi Wolfman Arendt, and this is WHYY News.